Welcome everyone to our little sliver of the internet. Thank you so much for joining us today here in the Final Cut. I'm Mark the Movie Man, and we are looking at a new film from a familiar name here on the show. Robert Conway, who did Exit to Hell, The Covenant, and Skinwalkers, all things we reviewed before, is got a new movie coming out January 9th called Hellhounds. Now, Hellhounds on the surface uh, gives a story of two rival biker gangs, the Silver Bullets and the Hellhounds, who are at war with each other. A bounty hunter ends up getting caught up in the middle of this war, and after helping out one of the Hellhound's members, Alias, well, she discovers that the Silver Bullets are actually werewolf hunters and the Hellhounds are aptly named because they are werewolves. Well, she pairs up with this werewolf biker to uh, go get a bounty for a very nasty individual who's taken up sanctuary in a place that is under strict rules, but is for a place for those on the run. Another person on the run is Lucilla, a chilling person who also has problem with full moons. And we see how all of these characters clash together. The first flies and uh, it gets really interesting in Hellhounds. Robert Conway giving us a werewolf film with a slight twist that ends up becoming kind of this buddy film and I'm there for it. This is a wild ride of a werewolf film that I think you'll find entertaining and compelling not only because of the story but of the characters. Mia who play, is the bounty hunter played by Dana Kippel. I loved her character. She was badass. Uh, she was determined and driven to get uh, the very evil uh, Mike um, who's been doing some nasty things and I loved that drive and it comes across on screen and she has some wonderful uh, chemistry with Nathaniel Burns who plays Alias, the hellhound that helps her. Uh, I love the banter between these two and they were very entertaining to watch. Now Lucilla is played by Eva Hamilton and man does she just she has so much charisma and badassness and creepiness to her all mixed up into one. She is relishing and having a blast as the Lucilla character. She was so matter of fact in her determination and, and just her acting. It comes across that confidence. You want that in your villain and you get that here. A very charismatic villain who uh, you do want to see some bad things happen to her, but you really appreciate uh, the performance that you're seeing there. Uh, so yeah, I loved how uh, all those individuals end up crossing paths. Much Mike, played by William Bill O'Connor, uh, is a very chilling character. This guy, man, uh, he is one you definitely don't mind, you know, wanting to see something bad happen to him. You're thinking in your head, yeah, that guy really needs to just get shredded. <laughs> you know, that's how chilling and bad his character is. And I loved how he plays off of uh, the other characters as well, and just how cold he plays this bad guy. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of interesting characters and twists in this. Uh, there's some wonderful practical effects. The makeup effects and gore that was used in here looked great. Uh, there is some CGI for the transformation of the werewolves. It might show its budget a bit, uh, but that's okay because the werewolf uh, makeup and outfit and the design themselves was very creepy and well lighted in that. So yeah, it gave them a bit of a viciousness to them, which uh, also added to the fun. Uh, overall, Hellhound if you like indie werewolf films, you're going to enjoy this, I think. I like the concept, the performances, the characters. There wasn't really a whole lot that uh, distracted me from it the whole time. Uh, maybe a little bit of the dialogue could have changed and maybe they trim out a little bit. But overall, I think Hellhounds is worth your time if this is your type of film. So if you do see it on January 9th or after, please stop on by here and give us your constructive thoughts on what you thought of Hellhounds. Please like, subscribe, and all that bells and whistles here. We're trying to hit or go above 3,000 subscribers before the end of 2024, and we can only do that with your help. So thank you very much, and until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.